There we go. Oh God. Well, how about that? Decided to come back out because it's good weather. Went to my spot. Just caught a 30, what, 32 inch red. A big sheep's head. And then threw right back out in the same spot. Decided I better put my camera on. And boom. That's a big one. I'm sure it's a red. He just... He's running. This is February, guys. 68 degrees. Kind of cloudy skies, but sunny. Beautiful. Love it. Come on. The water. Back in that cove again, and the water is coming out. Woo! Get him ready. Go, boy, go. Water's dripping out of the cove. So I decided, well, I better try it again, just in case. Ooh, look at that one. Holy cow. This could, this is a giant. I gotta beat 42 though, 42 inches. Holy smokes, did you see that? Come on, baby, come on. Good God. So if I give up bass fishing, I'm sorry, but this is why right here. This is so much fun. Ah, oh, look at the size of the head on that one. Oh my God. Uh. Come here. They are just so strong, guys. So strong. This was gonna have to go back though because I already got one. You're only allowed one over 27 and they have to be between 16 inches and 26 to keep. I, already took, I kept that 31, I was gonna get some redfish meat. The way it's been going, I can't catch any smaller ones, so. I thought I better take a chance on one that's not too big, but not too small. Now I caught this gigantic. Well, he might be pushing 40 inches. There's no way he's not even ready. Thing is, once they see the boat, they get a burst of energy. Then they get him back and they see the net. You gotta trick them. And uh, I know for those of you that already told me I need a bigger net, you're absolutely right. This net set up for a two and three pound bass that I usually catch. Oh man. If you don't get the head just right, they won't go in. All right, here we go. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. All right, I think I got him this time. Here we go. Oh, I gotcha, sucker. Gotcha, sucker. Whoa, it's a heavy one. Oh. We can rip away this one. See if the scale will pick him up. I doubt it. Look at that. technique too I'm just doing a quarter ounce split shot with the I think this is a four aught hook it goes smaller once these things eat it they usually engulf it oh man don't spin like a big shark And uh, 
I'm not going to sit here and tell you it's easy, but they pretty much, when they take the bait, they hook themselves. They, when they want it, they want it. All right, let's check it out. All right. Guys, only 32. Okay. Well, I'll take it. little picture later let it go well you're crap all over the boat again Woo love red fishing oh it's so much fun all right let's go catch another one Three fish in a row. everything found out everything out here in the salt water has teeth so you don't want to flip them pretty fish check that out Beautiful morning though. There's something. A rock. Rock, rock, rock. Look at that sky right there, man. Blue skies, clouds coming in off the Gulf of Mexico. God. I know it's gonna get humid and hot in the summertime, but I got a pool now. So looking forward to using it. when people ask me why did you move to Louisiana this right here is why plus my wife's family's here and you can afford to live here <laughs> it's, it's less expensive that's for sure 
It's always been a dream of mine to be able to fish whenever I wanted to. I think I'm achieving that dream. Another Louisiana boogie. Cheap head. 